Angela Ann Sneer, and today we're in Laval, basically Montreal, Quebec, Canada, outside Chung Chung, Chung Chung Kogo Korean, which Kogo Korean means Korean rice dog. So if you're at a Chung Chung in like the rest of Canada, it is Chung Chung Korean rice dogs, but here, since it's French, it is Chung Chung Kogo Koreans, which is Korean rice dog. Super cool. So here we are to do a crazy huge giant Korean rice dog or basically corn dog challenge. So for this challenge, we have 20 of their corn dogs or Korean rice dogs. We have 45 minute time limit and it's about a 70 ish dollar meal in order uh, to get it for free. We do have to complete it in the 45 minutes. Um, fail, we pay the 70 ish dollars. So this features a whole variety of both the kind of like classic offerings they have, um, which includes like their traditional one, which is basically a hot dog dipped in a rice flour rolled in tempura so like super crispy crunchy corn dog sounds awesome they also have ones with like potatoes on them with fried chicken on them um noodles even so yeah there's a lot of food uh it looks and sounds really awesome i have a secret to tell you about me and corn dogs i'll tell you my secret here in a bit but that let's head on and have fun and get some more details what we actually have the different kinds of flavors and uh, also they're known for these crazy cheese bowls they do like a lot of cheese action with these hot dogs. So with that, let's uh, head on in, have fun, and that. Let's squeeze the food. Hi everybody, it's here with all the food. Looks absolutely insane. And I gotta say, these smell so good. They're so much bigger than I anticipated, but hey, I mean, that is not a bad thing. Well, maybe today, because we got a lot. But that being said, at the front here, we have all kind of their classics. So this is just a lovely, lovely, lovely hot dog. It is dipped in that gelatinous rice flour, lovely panko crust, deep fried to perfection, and holy jumpets, these things are over half a pound each. Oh, it smells so good. And now I could have the option to have like actually all these sauced and often people sauce them with kind of drizzle it all over or with powders yeah they have like different butter powders which are super i guess traditional in korea which is amazing um by the way this is actually my first time ever having a korean rice dog so there's my little secret for you but check this out they hooked me up i have every single sauce and butter and whatever i could ever imagine right here and why I wanted them on the side, because then I get to try everything as is. I get to try it with all the sauces. But yeah, standardly, a lot of people get them sauce. They got like spicy uh, mayonnaises and Thai sauces and barbecue sauces, ketchup, mustard, of course, honey mustard even. Oh, I love that. Um, but what do we have besides the traditional ones up here? I have this one here, which actually has potatoes. Yeah, so it's rolled in potatoes, which is super cool. So, hey, I'm all about some potato action. There you go, we got some vegetables. We got some vegetables, we're healthy, right? I have a sweet potato one. Now this one, I love the look of, it looks so tasty. Oh, it just smelled that like sweet potato fry. Ooh. My mouth is watering, so awesome. So then we have the cheddar cheese and bacon, this little short fat one, which is actually so like heavy, it's about to fall off that stick. There's lots of cheese and cheese is like an integral part. So there's lots of them have these like so much, if you love cheese, people love these things because the imagery. Then I have the double cheese, imagine that, which is even heavier double cheese. Then I have the cheddar, which is, well, guess what? Cheddar cheese, whereas these I think are more like mozzarella, white cheese. This one is absolutely the biggest one and literally this one is almost a full pound. Look at the size of this. That is a big wiener. Very big wiener, very big hot dog. This is called the Volcano. One of the favorites, one of the classics. It is actually supposed to be a little spicy, a little picante, but I'm okay with that. I love me some flavors. And this is actually a huge sausage. So hot dog, sausage. Then we have this one here with the ramen noodles, look at this. It's supposed to be like super crispy, crunchy, which I mean, how can it not? Panko, ramen noodles, deep fried. Hey, I'm down to try it. Another absolutely massive one. It is grand. Look at this, this is the one with the chicken. This is literally fried chicken. Yeah, so we have a freaking hot dog. Yeah, with fried chicken on it. Mind blown, amazing. I can't wait to try that one. And last but not least, this one, is the dog with the Doritos. So we got Doritos, a little bit of cheese sauce on there. Imagine that. You guys, like I said, there is no shortage of cheese. There's no shortage of hot dogs, but yeah, anyway, that's about that. So lots of food. Honestly, I'm excited. These smell great. They look great. I've definitely actually, well here, 
What do you think of corn dogs? Let me know what you think of corn dogs down below, and then I'll shortly be able to let you know what I think of the Korean rice dogs or the Korean corn dogs uh, just momentarily. So with that, let's get rock and roll. You good if I get started? Yes. Okay, let me grab one of these guys up here, the old traditional dogs, and uh, let's get rocking. I'm excited. All right, cool. Woo. All right, so how about we get rocking? Let's see, maybe the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my gosh. What on earth? Holy crunch. Oh my. Mm. Hold up. Hold up. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is the best thing ever. Oh my. Where have this been all my life? Oh wow. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Mm. It is so crunchy. So crispy. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here taking on this absolutely massive Korean rice dog challenge. So if you've ever had a Korean rice dog, you probably know what I'm talking about. Especially if you've had one from Chung Chung. Now, if you have not, well, throughout this video I'm definitely going to tell you a lot about the textures, about the flavors, and really what I thought about them. Oh my, everybody, that is amazing. Is this mustard? I got a standard mustard, I'm going to try it. Let me know what you like your corn dog with. When I was in Texas, they're all about standard mustard, but holy, this is the best thing ever. Mm. Mm. So much better than the standard corn dog. Wow. Try some mustard. And the hot dogs you're using in there are actually so amazingly moist and juicy. Mmm. <laughs> so this was an absolutely massive challenge. Literally, we had at least 10 pounds of Korean rice dogs here. The smaller, like more normal ones, were about half a pound, whereas the ones like the Volcano and the big fried chicken one, yes, that one was fried chicken, um, they weighed closer to a whole pound. Like, these things were absolutely giant. Chung Chung. They don't you know, like... 15 locations in Quebec. And I don't know how many across Canada, but wow, Quebec. Go get yourself a Coco Kareem. Mm. Best thing ever. Of course, we were trying to get the $70 meal for free, but the fact that this was like 65 or 70 bucks or whatever for all these Korean rice dogs was absolutely insane. Um, so I gotta like give a huge, like, and that's just normal menu prices, so good value. Try some hot sauce. Oh yeah. The acidity, that crispy rich hot dog. Mm. Mm. Oh. Can't get any better. Try some ketchup. Mm. Oh, so sweet. So we're at the Laval location, which essentially is, well, it's very close to Montreal, Quebec, um, but there's actually like 15 or so different stores uh, all across the uh, province, such as like in Gatineau, Quebec City, of course, those in Montreal, there's actually a number in and around Montreal. And then I believe they were actually the first uh, Korean rice dog brand to come to Canada, Chung Jung, um, which they apparently have, I think like 50 locations across the country. So long story short, these places are obviously very popular, and I know why. Like, there's an absolute reason why. These things are so amazing, and I've seen them. You know, I've seen people get them with the cheese pulls, and I've seen, you know, just, but I really got to say, it was, I saw them, I was skeptical, but believe it or not, I now see why, you know, this is such a popular item. Um, and even in addition, they have some new items in addition to like the actual 
rice dogs. I think they had like some uh, little like popcorn chicken kind of bites. They had some waffle fries. Um, so I think there is you know a little bit more. Oh, and they even had dessert hot dogs. So there is actually like more to the menu than just the rice dogs themselves. So I tried that one, the honey mustard, which was great. I'm gonna dip this one in the chipotle. See what that's all about. Mmm. Oh. Smoky. Fantastic. I also absolutely loved having all the different sauces there. Again, a lot of people get them like sauced, like drizzled directly on the dogs. And the brand new wasabi mayo. Oh, mm. that's just fantastic. Mm. It's a rich, sweet mayonnaise. Reminds me like a Cupy mail, free mail. Oh, mmm, that was sobby. Mm. This stuff like bounces out. Not spicy. Mm. Love it. The all-time favorite. This is the most popular sauce. The spicy mail. And with the sauce on the side, I gotta maintain the absolute most crispiness, plus I gotta enjoy and try all the different flavors. So like I said, I was so excited I did it this way. I think it's the best way to do it. But obviously you can make it your own, which is the great thing. Just like you can add multiple different sauces and combinations and all that stuff to make, again, the hot dog your own to your own flavor, regardless of your topping, you know, the type of dog you get, etc. Um, so I didn't get the exact details, but they actually also have a small challenge, or maybe it was like a temporary challenge, I'm not really sure, um, but at the uh, different Chung Chung locations across Canada, um, which was a singular uh, large hot dog. Um, and again, it was literally just like eat the one hot dog in a certain amount of time, you get it for free. Um, so like I said, I don't have the, I didn't get the exact details of it. I was definitely more focused on doing this absolutely massive giant, uh, we'll say, you know, well, just crazy food challenge. Um, but yeah, they do have, like I said, like a small kind of speed challenge. So we'll call it a civilian size challenge. Maybe I'll, uh, let, me, let me know in a comment down below if I should uh, try to, you know, maybe try that challenge also. See how fast I can eat one of these. Uh, Chung Chung uh, Korean rice dogs. Um, although it would be an absolute shame to try to eat this so quick. They're just that delicious. Um, but pretty much that is, you know, the majority of the information. I don't think I can iterate enough. Like if you have not had one of these, especially from Chung Chung, it is just, it is like nothing else you've ever had before. It is like a traditional corn dog on steroids or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Just like I said, the utmost crispiness the lovely kind of slightly chewy texture of that rice flour the gelatinous rice flour oh it is just amazing so like i said and the way they did them here it was pure perfection so if you can call this a corn dog this is by far the best corn dog i've ever had and if you want to call it a korean rice dog then korean rice dogs are way better than corn dogs at least here at chung chung so with that though definitely stay tuned to the end this is a very difficult challenge there is definitely some unexpected happenings, and let's just say things got real serious and real difficult real fast. Let's see what happens. Woo! All right, buddy, nine minutes in. I am so impressed. All the sauces, all the flavors. Every time I bite one of these, in fact, it's so crispy and crunchy. Best thing ever. Also, shout out to the fact that they have the 7-Up Zero. Hard to find. And one of my favorites. So, excuse me, comments to the chef. Let's try some of these butter powders. So this is the honey butter. I'm not sure how butter powder works, but I'm totally cool with it. So, excuse me. This is definitely, like I said, a very traditional. <coughs> excuse me. It means it's good. Korean thing. So, let's try it. This, this, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like popcorn. Oh my gosh. So I just took this amazing, crispy, rich, succulent hot dog. I made it taste like 
Movie theater popcorn? I don't know how this works, but I'm totally okay with it. Oh, man. Mm. And there's other ones. This is a cheese, cheese powder. I'll try because they're cheddar. Oh. Cheddar. And garlic butter. That sounds interesting. And also, shout out to Sal. They've been super friendly here and super helpful. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Oh, man. Mmm. These butter powders are delicious. Again, kind of like movie theater popcorn. About 12 and a half minutes into Pogo Korean and Chill. Best thing ever. All right, now we have some more interesting ones. So, let's see what it's all about. I haven't even tried all the sauces yet. Um, I don't even know if we will need them. There's so many flavor on all this. All right, <coughs> excuse me, Doritos. It tastes like a Dorito, nachos, cheesiness. Try this volcano, this is the biggest one. You lied and said it wasn't filled up a little bit, buddy. The biggest one. Oh. There's cheese in that. Mm. It's crispy, it's warm. It's a nice jalapeno flavor. I might really get much heat. Oh, there's the heat. I spoke too soon. Here's a little hot sauce on huh? it. Mm. That is a moist, juicy sausage, though. Next, let's try the potato. Hmm. Interesting. So this is a chicken hot dog. It's it, the the potato adds a bit of moisture on it, so it's still crispy and crunchy. That it's not as exaggerative as the other ones. Tries with the sweet potatoes. Mm. Mm. Same hot dog. Very sweet, like, strong sweetness from the. Uh, Potato. <clears throat> Try some butter powder. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is a good combo. Next, we have a cheddar bacon, a little short, fat, stubby one. Whew. Excuse me. Let's see what this one's all about. Oh, my gosh. Look at that action. 
Holy. Holy cheese. That's insane. There was a lot of cheese in that. Mm. But that bacon. Just saying. That tastes pretty damn delicious. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, it just you know, kind of tastes like kind of like a grilled cheese. Oh my gosh. But that bacon. Oh ho ho. Thoroughly impressed so far. Ooh, no shortage of food though, I'll put it that way. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, compliments to you guys, I appreciate you. Uh, Excuse me guys. Woo! It just means it's damn good. I gotta say, I am thoroughly impressed though. Um, Alright, this is original, let's dive on this, let's see what it's all about. Butter. Mm. This one is so huge. Maybe we'll try the chick one next. Oh man. So I want them. Definitely fill them up, guys. In about 22 minutes, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. In. Amazing. All right, fried chicken on a hot dog. Never something I thought I'd have before. Let's do it. Mm. That. It's pretty, pretty hefty, that is for sure. Try the one with the ramen. This one's gonna be extra crispy, extra crunchy, no doubt about that. Mm. Oh my gosh. Holy crunch. Mm. But holy jumps, guys, this is the craziest, crunchiest, crispiest one ever. All of them. Excuse me. I've been amazing, crispy, crunchy. Woo! My mouth is uh, just a little, a little affected by the abrasiveness. Uh, put it that way. Mm. But the ramen noodles actually really good. That one with the ramen, I feel like it sends shockwaves every time I bite it. So crispy and crunchy. I think it's double cheese and then the uh, cheddar. Woo! Try this one out. Oh, this one's a hot dog in it. Oh, cool. This is what it is. It looks like cheddar, mozzarella, and a hot dog. Twenty nine minutes in. Whew. To 
cocoa cream and chill. Cream race jugs and chill. Ugh. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't full. I said this is about a 10 pounds of freaking Korean rice dogs. Oh. These have been freaking awesome. Ooh. Even the ones with the cheese have been pretty damn good. Oh, right, I think this is cheddar. Cheddar and a hot dog. Last bite. Ooh. Mm. Those butter powders are amazing. Oh, all right, everybody. Oh, I'd say we're done. Oh, it's about 31, maybe 40 something. Oh my gosh, guys, that was amazing. I really cannot stress how impressed I was with the freaking Korean rice dogs. Chung Chung definitely has it going on. I don't generally eat fried foods. Chung Chung is actually a place I would come back, like in my own time, off camera, when I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, normally eat fried foods, and I would get one of the freaking hot dogs. You know what my favorite was today? It was the standard. Just the crunch, the crisp, it was the best thing ever, and that all beef hot dog, you can just taste it. It's a great tasting hot dog. I loved it with the different sauces. I, I, I actually really enjoyed having them on the side so I could dip it in it. Kept it super crispy, super crunchy. The butter powders are amazing. Shout out the wasabi uh, mayo, that's a new thing. That's probably my favorite kind of like signature kind of sauce they had going on there. Um, but Chipotle was great. Of course, ketchup, hot sauce, mustard, honey mustard, my favorites. Um, but man, that was freaking good. Whew. Admittingly, after eating 20 some of these, my mouth a little, little, little raw, a little raw. But for that, we do get the about 70 each dollar meal for free, which is super cool. Um, again, shout out the value on that. I mean, that's a lot of freaking food. That could feed a lot of people. But anyway, guys, um, I'll clarify whenever our lovely staff gets back this finish. But huge thanks to Chunk Chunk. This was absolutely awesome. Again, they got 15 whatever locations across Quebec, literally all the way from north to south to east to west. Stop by. This was crazy. And I can't wait to literally stop by again. Just shockingly good. I didn't know what to expect and expectations blown, mind blown. So whew, with that everybody, of course until next time, say happy, happy, hungry, happy eating. Montreal, Quebec, and Chang Chang. Do your thing. This was awesome. Kogo Korean. Korean rice dogs. Definitely check them out. So everyone, until next time. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. And uh, until next time, of course, say happy, happy, hungry, happy eating. I know the words, probably broke a record at this point. That was delicious. So, at that, have a good day. 12 seconds later. Excuse me? Yes. Just, is, this, is this finished? Yes. Yeah, perfect. Whew. Right. Are you going to try a dessert? Wait, what? Yes, you got to try a dessert. And a waffle fries. And a Korean chicken popcorn. You, you, you want me to try? Okay. Yes. Well. You have uh, to try it for them. All right, let's, uh, wow, okay, hold on one sec, let me, uh, let's, uh, I guess we have more food. All right, let me, uh, throw this here. You'll have to tell, what do we have? Wow, okay. All right, everybody, I guess, uh, the hospitality does not stop. All right, what do we, these, so, waffle fries? Yes. Okay, these look good. What's, what's on them? We got sweet and sour sauce. Sweet and sour sauce. Soy sauce and Ooh. cherry sauce. Soy and cheddar. All right, I'll try that. Mm. Oh my gosh, it is crunchy. Yeah, I'm gonna taste the soy a lot. 
Wow, yeah, a little, a little, a little dust in your cheddar. Oh wow, really impressive. You know what reminds me of? Reminds me of a barbecue potato chip. Mm -hmm. It is very wow. I can't believe how crunchy that is. All right, and this is this looks like chicken. Yes, Korean chicken popcorn. Korean fried chicken popcorn. All right, same sauce. Yes. Same sauce. The same chicken that's on the the hot dog. Yes. You definitely get like a, this sounds funny, but like a popcorn chicken flavor. All right, now what, 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 what the heck, what, 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 what are these here? This is mozzarella? Yeah, it's a bestseller. Is that the one with the crazy cheesy? Oh, yes. I'm gonna, yes. all right, and what about these ones? Chocolate and caramel? Yeah. You okay. tell me what's inside of it. What okay. kind of chocolate? Okay, hold up guys, chocolate and caramel? I might have to video, I'm gonna video this. I gotta video that, that, that cheese pull. All right, everybody. Let's see this. Choco Cocoa, everybody. Here we go. Oh my gosh. What? Is it a Mars bar? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Everybody. It's like a deep fried Mars bar. Oh my gosh. Mm, caramel, chocolatey. Woo. That is sweet, though. And she brought me more sugar to put on. I don't know about that. Oh. Holy jumpers. And this was the uh, mozzarella one? Yeah. All right, buddy, the mozzarella one, the famous one. The famous mozzarella. Oh my God. It doesn't stop. Oh. It doesn't stop. Oh my gosh. Look at that, it's insane. Oh my god. It has a stretch of like four feet. That's crazy. Ah dang. And what was this last one? Half and half. Alright, let's see what this one's about too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Look at this. Well, this is amazing. Look at this, guys. This is, this is ridiculous. But anyway, well, thank you to the staff. So, Chun Chun, guys, I have nothing else to say but yes. Yes. everyone, we're here in Montreal, Montreal. It's a very beautiful city. It is beautiful in the summertime. So it's a really cool city. Um, it's very European. It's definitely not like the rest of Canada um, in regards to just like culture. Uh, that is for sure. There definitely is a very big kind of, mm, how do I put this? Like, like small markets, independent, uh, whether it be like businesses, etc., really seem to thrive here. And I've been told um, by businesses, like it's hard to, for a external business to technically permeate some of the Quebec or Montreal market. Um, like for example, businesses have to change their names. You know, KFC changed their name to PFK, Poulet Fried Kentucky. Um, we then have, uh, you know, like Popeyes, for the example, that chicken market hasn't, like that brand hasn't even come to go back. They probably again, you know, have to, I don't know what they would do. I don't know, well, I guess it's a name, so they probably wouldn't change their name. Anyway, long story short, um, it's super cool. It honestly kind of reminds me of New York in a way, like New York City, in the sense of just kind of the looks of it. Um, now, again, don't get me wrong, there's lots of other old, older, and big cities which look like it, but it kind of reminds me of New York in the sense of its layout. Um, they're almost as like very distinct kind of boroughs in a way. And again, other cities have this too, but New York's what comes to me. Um, just like, you know, you'll have like your little Italy's, you'll have your Chinatown, um, but then you'll just have like these, you know, like neighborhoods which people like distinctly kind of know by. But anyway, yeah, kind of, uh, 
it's a cool place and I've really enjoyed this trip. The people have been very friendly. Um, and uh, Montreal, I've definitely noticed there's a lot more English speaking people in the city it seems like, or at least the English uh, frequency is a lot more than it was prior when I was here. Um, which helps individuals like myself who unfortunately don't speak French. But that being said, I really do appreciate the culture and I appreciate the um, you know history of that. So I definitely you know try to uh, use and preserve the French culture as much as I can. You know, bonjour madame. You know, bonjour monsieur. Comment ça va? Just like hello, how are you? So anyway, guys, that's a little bit of Montreal. Um, so yeah, it's a cool place. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. Link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out. Appreciate y'all. Until next time. Well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.